You can just instead simply shoot the wall, pop and edit, and just clean up the kill. This works super easy almost every single time. What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, Bunch of Crunch Army. What's up? Man, make sure to keep going, man. Make sure to never, never stop doing what you do. And man, you know, I know a lot of times we're very hard on ourselves. And, you know, I just want you guys to just, just know that you're doing a good job, all right? Just keep going. Whatever it is that you're doing, man, you're doing great. I'm so proud of you guys. Keep grinding. Keep going, man. Welcome back to another video. So many of us, unfortunately, have dealt with the pain of playing on high ping in Fortnite for quite a long time. Right next to you. And while it's possible, you know, to simply just get used to it, for some of us, our ping just holds us back way more than it should. So in this video, man, we're gonna be talking all about how you, yes, you can go pro and even improve insanely fast in Fortnite, even if you play on high ping. Yeah, I said it. We're gonna go over everything from how to adapt and learn high ping and how you can practice efficiently on it. So specific tips that you can just utilize that don't rely on ping and so much more. So you gotta stay tuned, watch the whole video. I got a question to ask you before we even start this, man. And the question is, what ping do you play on in Fortnite? Be sure to let me know down in the comments what ping you play on. All right, guys, so Bunch of Crunch Army, it's about that time. Say it with me. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that Bunch of Crunch. Yo, let's get this going. Do you want to play like Mongrel, Benji, or any other pro player? Learn the techniques and training routines that all the pros use only at ProGuides.com. Okay, you can get one-on-one -on -one pro coaching, join live pro classes, and watch pro courses from some of the best players in the world. It's time to take your skills to a new level. Start winning your Fortnite games now. Join Pro Guys today. The first topic we're gonna cover in this video is how you can take walls on high ping. Now, most of us know already that if you play on above, say 60 ping, then taking walls is gonna be pretty tough. The truth is there's really no mechanic that allows high ping players to take walls anymore. We, you know, had the coin flip mechanic for a while, but it seems like it's totally gone now. So the first method to take your opponent's walls on high ping is to use your shotgun instead of your pickaxe. So when you do this, your opponent will often let their guard down and just stop turbo building, allowing you just to pop an unexpected shot on their wall. Another great part of this trick is that keeping your shotgun out will allow you to fight back if the other player tries to edit on you and gives you more overall control in the fight. Another great trick is basically doing this whenever another player is distracted. Instead of just taking the time to pull out your pickaxe, approach the box and take the wall, by which time your opponent will know you're there. You can just instead simply shoot the wall, pop and edit, and just clean up the kill. This works super easy almost every single time. Honestly, taking walls on high ping is tough, but another trick that you can use is to confuse your opponent and have them hold the wrong structure instead of just trying to take the wall directly. This can be done in multiple ways. Basically, what you want to do is keep your opponent guessing which structure you're going to take. Given enough practice, you can honestly do this super consistently, and this is one of the main ways high ping pros get control in box fights and make some of the best opponents, you know, many of whom are on low ping, look like total bots. Next up, we're gonna talk about building and editing. Two of the hardest parts of high ping gameplay, who would agree with that? As you may already know, playing on high ping basically increases the time from your computer sending the signal to place a structure and the structure actually placing in game. The best way to counter this is to simply focus on a smoother playstyle instead of just being fast and choppy like low ping players are. Basically, when your playstyle is more fluid and smooth, instead of just fast and choppy, your builds are going to place way more consistently and your edits will also go through more consistently since you're giving the servers more time to sort of receive and process what you're doing, making everything way more consistent. 
You may notice that a lot of high pink players tend to play on lower senses, and there's a good reason for it. Obviously, high sensitivities tend to cater to more mechanical players since they can just flick their bills and edit super quickly and just generally play at a much faster pace. And lower sensitivities are better for players who have a slower, more controlled pace to their gameplay, which is exactly what you should do at higher ping. You might also notice that high ping players tend to use a lot more phasing techniques since these type of techniques are usually way less reliant on ping. One pretty common technique used among higher ping players is the Mitro Classic. All right, this is a super simple technique. All it really consists of is placing a wrap against your opponent's wall and timing a pickaxe swing with a jump, hitting the wall exactly when your character collides with it. This technique is super consistent and really isn't relying on ping. So this technique and other ones like it are definitely worth considering, man, regardless of whether you play high ping or low ping. All right, guys, speaking of building and editing, if you're struggling to get good at building and editing techniques, then ProGuides.com has two courses that are perfect just for you. Our building and editing master courses both go over a ton of the meta techniques that pros use to consistently dominate in fights, all right? If you're interested in that, be sure to head on over to our website. Also, on our website, you can find pro coaches who can help you spot mistakes in your gameplay and really help you reach the next level. So be sure to check that out while you're over there as well. All right, with that being said, <laughs> it's time to move on to the next tip. Here we go. Another topic that somewhat relates to building and editing is, come on now, aim. Another one of the crucial mechanics in Fortnite. So when you play on high ping, your aim is easily one of the most important parts of your playstyle to have mastered because it's one of the few things that isn't held back by your ping. And this doesn't only go for people who play on high ping, but pretty much anyone who has a slower pace to their gameplay, which especially includes high ping players. Obviously at a higher ping, since your other mechanics like building and editing will be hindered by your ping, having insane aim is one of the biggest things that can separate you from everyone else and really give you a huge edge against even some of the best zero ping players, all right? We've done videos on aim before, but overall, there are a few things that you can do to get insane aim, which we're gonna cover right now. Here we go. For controller, switch, and mobile players, what's up, y'all? It's absolutely crucial to train your aim normally in-game. So we recommend the Skavak Aim Trainer Map posted by YouTuber Don Wozy, which we're gonna put the code on the screen right now. 8022-6842-4965. This map is absolutely amazing and has a ton of drills for all types of aims, so we highly recommend checking it out. Another important thing to get good at is the mechanics of aim assist. Okay, so if you can learn to utilize aim assist properly, then your aim is gonna improve insanely fast. One of the best ways to do this is by doing aim duels, especially against other controller players. So we recommend using this aim duel map from one of the top aim coaches in the world, VF Croder. We're gonna put the map code on the screen right now so you can check it out. When you do aim duels, guys, it's absolutely crucial to focus on three fundamentals, all right? Which includes aiming for the head, super important, utilizing ADS or aim down sight, and consistently just following, you know, your opponent with your crosshair. If you can just get really good at doing all these things, man, you're going to find your aim improving drastically. For mouse and keyboard players, absolutely no form of aim practice tops Kovacs FPS aim trainer. Honestly, this is one of the best apps for practicing your aim and it offers a ton of different scenarios and personalization you really just can't get with an in-game aim trainer. We seriously recommend getting Kovacs, which you can find on the Steam store for $10. Okay, and other than Kovacs, it's also super helpful to practice aim duels on mouse and keyboard while focusing on the same fundamentals that we just talked about for other platforms. So overall, my friends, practicing and perfecting your aim, regardless of which input device you play on, will pay dividends no matter who you are, and this effect increases exponentially like if you play on high ping. So for all of you high pingers out there, hop into your Kovacs, aim map, or aim duel and just get some practice in, all right? After watching this video, of course, don't do it now. Come on now. <laughs> don't ditch your motivation guy like that. Come on. The last topic I like to cover in this video is how you can practice effectively on high ping. Obviously, you know, playing on high ping is different than low ping, and with that being the case, practice is also different. So to maximize your skill as a high ping player, you're gonna need to do some things that low ping players don't really do, and maybe spend less time on some things they focus on. 
So in this section, we're gonna discuss some of the things that you can do to maximize your practice time and reach as high as a skill level as possible. One amazing way to practice on high ping, especially if you get higher ping in game than you do in creative, is to practice on another region in creative. For example, if you play on NA East and get 40 ping in creative but 60 in game, then you might be able to try creative on NA West which should give you around 60 ping, which is the exact amount you play in game, giving you more realistic practice for an actual game environment. All right, guys, second up, for general practice on high ping, all right, focus on playing against players on lower ping than you. This is actually gonna allow you to adapt to fighting against a low ping playstyle, so you're more prepared for, you know, when the thing actually happens in a run match. This means instead of just practicing against a friend who plays on 80 ping, try to find somebody cracked and creative, man, to go against instead for more targeted practice. And the final tip for this section is to focus on letting every build place, every edit go through and every shot go off. We talked about this earlier, but I can't express how important this is. If you take the time to get used to this and adapt to your ping, it's gonna pay dividends in the future when you don't have to stress of your shotgun not shooting. You know, your builds not placing or even your edits not even going through. But with that said, guys, all right, we've gone over a ton of cool stuff in this video, so we gotta do a recap. Here we go. First up on the list is taking walls on high ping. Now, taking walls on high ping is just much more complicated. <laughs> However, like if you can learn to utilize your shotguns properly when trying to take walls along with going from different angles and attacking multiple pieces to confuse your opponents and keep them on edge, you're gonna be able to take away more builds even on high ping. Next up, when it comes to building and editing on high ping, all right, consistency and also a slow pace is everything. If you try to flick around and perform insane mechanical moves, then you're not gonna be happy with the result. So focus on playing way more controlled with your builds and edits and play smarter instead of faster. Yeah, I like that. Play smarter instead of faster, right? You're gonna see a huge improvement. Third up, we've got the importance of aim when it comes to high ping. Aim, oof. It's the only mechanic that isn't heavily influenced by your ping, so practicing and developing top tier aim is one of the best ways to give yourself an advantage no matter what ping you play on. And finally, to practice effectively on high ping, focus on following the tips we talked about earlier in the video, along with practicing against low ping players, practicing on other regions to get used to higher ping, and slowing down your mechanics and basically all your practice to adapt to your higher ping. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I just wanna let you guys know, man, I'm proud of you. I really am, you know? Um, you probably don't hear it enough, man, but I'm proud of you. I love the grind, man. I love what you're saying in the comment section. Man, I love how you're watching our videos. That shows me that you wanna be better, and that's awesome, man. I'm so proud of you guys. Keep going. That's gonna be it for this video. We hope you all enjoyed it, and that really, you know, really just helps you high ping players improve and reach a high level regardless of which, you know, disadvantages may lie in your way. Once again, be sure to check out ProGuys.com for more exclusive content and be sure to check out our community Discord subreddit, which will be both linked in the description. And uh, just hang out, man, to see even more, you know, content we got coming out. And once again, eat that bunch of crunch. <laughs> We're going to get this going. I'll see you soon. Peace.